All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can save on some CPU horsepower by routing all of your audio to their own separate effects buses. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so as you can see, I have a couple of different tracks here and I've got some audio tracks. And since we're going to be talking about Fairlight, let's go right in there. So what is an audio bus and why should we use one? Well, simply put, that's going to be its own separate track that is going to house any sort of effects or uh, post-processing that you're going to be doing to your uh, audio tracks. So the most common reasons to use a bus is to save on processing power by routing multiple pieces of audio into, let's say, a reverb or if you're doing any sort of compression, that's another place where you could save potentially. So let's see how we can create this. By default in DaVinci Resolve 17, there is a single master bus and it is called bus one. If we wanted to add more, we just have to go under Fairlight, go into bus format, and from here we can add as many buses as we want. For this example, I'm going to add three and I'm going to change them to stereo tracks. Doesn't really matter for my example, I record my vocals in mono, but just so you know, you can change it to a stereo or any of these other options if you're doing 7.1, you can do that as well. And I'm also going to just change the colors so it's easier for myself just to keep track of them. And just click OK when you're done. Perfect. So now here we can see that we have three buses created and if you wanted to see them in your audio mixer just drag that over a little bit as well here. So now we can have a full visual on exactly what is going on. Now like I said the most common use for a bus especially in video applications is to add something like reverb or compression. So for this example I'm going to add some reverb onto bus 3. To do that, I just have to go under the effects and hit this plus button, and I'm just going to add the stock reverb that comes within Fairlight. And I'm going to pick the biggest possible one here, which is the concert hall, and I'm just going to close that up. One thing that we do want to note though, is that we actually want 100% wet signal when we're doing this via bus because we're going to be blending audio into it. So we want as wet of a signal as possible when that is sent back out. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Now let's start routing some audio. So I should note that I don't actually have anything on audio track one, but two, three, and four all have audio. So I'm going to start routing those. The way to do that is under bus outputs, we just click on the plus and add the bus that we want to send it to. In this case, it's going to be bus three because that's the one that has a reverb on it. So I'm just going to do those. And I think I'm actually just going to start with just a single one so you can see what's going on. In most other audio software, this would be good enough and you'd hear some reverb if we played this back and I'm just going to mute tracks three and four. But if we take a listen, track the Luma for this, the vast majority of the time, that there's no reverb that's actually happening right now. And to fix that, we actually have to take our bus three and route it back to our master, which is going to be bus one. So now what we have is the audio from audio track two getting routed into the reverb on bus three. And then that reverb bus, which is bus three, is going back into our uh, master track. And then if we were to play that back, that's what you're going to be doing as well. Now I'm just going, we can hear our reverb. From there, if we wanted to adjust the levels, we just have to hover under here where it says bus one under the sends and click on the one that looks like a bunch of sideways faders. From here, we can adjust the amount that we're going to be sending to the master bus, as well as the pan left or right. So let's start adjusting that. Going to zoom in on the microwave. So if we want a smaller amount of reverb, we just have to turn the send down. Here, if we want more, we have we to turn it up. And if we want to send it to do only the left channel or the right channel, or whatever we can change that pan as well. By clicking, but 
I have that uh, turned case, off right now. I do want to capture underneath it and just go and a just little bit keep outside it of the significantly more wet that than what we would normally do just for this example. Okay, so now that we have one routed, let's route a second one. And it's as easy as just adding another send. And I will add a third send as well. So now if we play all of those back, we're going to here. And play that's where the super scale feature comes in. Results. So and them out. I really highlighted do. unless you have other we have reverb or this already. should look like on all of these. And if I turn that off, now we're not going to have any more reverb. I solo the first one. Uh, of points to second one, uh, small, and the third track with the original. And there we have it. Now the reason that this is going to save you some processing horsepower is because instead of applying the effect to each individual track, which means that there's going to be three instances of that running and processing all at once, all you have is a single instance of that reverb with three separate audio tracks going into it, all using that singular reverb. And as you can imagine, the more tracks that you have that you're using this for, the bigger the savings that you're going to get. And again, you can do this as well with compression if you're using a very particular type of EQ, a high pass or a low pass on multiple different tracks, you can do it like that as well. So just start playing around with buses and see if that's going to help your production workflow at all. All right, and there we have it. That's how you use audio buses in DaVinci Resolve. If this video was helpful, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. I wanna create content that you wanna see, so let me know what it is that you wanna see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye now.